While cheating at poker is nowhere near as rife as Hollywood suggests in movies, unfortunately it does still happen. Recent years have seen a few cases appear during live tournaments, and here is our list of the five worst. Firstly, we have the case of counterfeit chips finding their way onto the tables at Bulgata Casino during a tournament. With 27 players left in the $2 million guaranteed event during the Bulgata Winter Open, play was paused due to discrepancies in the chips. Further investigation led to the tournament being called off due to there being counterfeit chips circulating around the tournament tables. After the tournament was cancelled, a brief investigation into which player was responsible ensued. Christian Lusardi, who was one of the 27 remaining players, raced up to his hotel room and flushed a few handfuls of fake chips down his toilet, blocking the pipes and revealing himself to be the culprit. He was sentenced to five years for his counterfeiting activities, which was little comfort to the players, who had to abandon their bid to win the $372,123 first prize. Second on our list is the fake reporter scam. This one took place at the Partouche Poker Tour and involved a player called Ali Tekin Tamgash working with a fake reporter. The player would get his fake reporter friend to stand behind his opponent whenever there was a pot in progress and use hand signals to tell Tekin Tamgash what his opponent held. Thankfully the suspicious behaviour was identified and the player was disqualified from the event before the final table got underway. This may not have been the first time this had happened though, as the player in question had already won WPT Barcelona previously. Third on our list is the story of the casino that cheated. Normally players would expect the floor staff and supervisors of a tournament to be the ones protecting them against cheating, not the ones undertaking the cheating. Suspicions were first raised by a professional tournament player who bought into a tournament at Hialeah Park in Florida. He first noticed friendly exchanges of words between some players and floor staff which was followed by those players picking out where they wanted to sit. Some brief calculations then also revealed that the prize pool was light by $48,000 and managers appeared to be handling cash without any receipts. Troubled by the situation, the player spoke to a supervisor and was told that if he didn't like it, he could go play his tournaments elsewhere. An official complaint was filed with the Florida division of Parry Mutuel Wagering, which investigated and confirmed the player's suspicions. The staff involved in running the event were seemingly making up their own rules while pocketing cash from the prize pool. The fourth incident to make our list is another from the Partouche Poker Tour. It took three years before anyone noticed the extreme collusion that took place between French players Jean-Paul Pasqualini and Cedric Rossi at the final table in 2009. Careful inspection of the video revealed that players were touching parts of their heads and faces to signal their cards to each other throughout the final table. They use these signs to play as a team. In an incredible sequence, Pasqualini pauses, then inexplicably smiles as he folds his ace-king without seeing a flop, despite being short-stacked. Although they were eventually found out, the players kept their prize money, which amounted to 1 million euros and 606,700 euros for their respective first and second place finishes. The GPI suspended both players from their rankings, however, and they are now recognised as cheats. The final case we examine is that of Valerie Ukoka. We will speak about this one as a separate entity from those we have already mentioned, as Valerie Ukoka was in fact investigated and cleared of wrongdoing. But he strangely disappeared from the live poker scene after this incident. During the 10k Heads Up event at the WSOP, some players who had been defeated by Coca voiced concerns about what they viewed as suspicious play. Coca would check and recheck his cards in different ways before passively folding a lot in the early levels according to them, before suddenly playing back every time they were bluffing and folding every time they had it. The players found his behaviour very strange, and Connor Drynan described himself as feeling super used after the game. It later emerged that Coca had been thrown out of casinos in Europe for marking cards by bending them slightly, but this time he was declared innocent according to the investigation conducted by the Nevada Gaming Control Board and the casino. Valeriu Coca was paid out the prize money of just over $54,000 for his fifth place finish in this event. These stories are not there to tarnish the image of the game of poker, which has made spectacular progress in terms of professionalism and fair play. They are just a reminder that not all people are honest, especially when big amounts of money are involved. What have you got, sir? I've got six aces, sir. Thanks for listening, everyone. If you like this video, please take a moment to like, share and subscribe.